And we are back with Business Radio X Pro Tips. Stone Payton, Lee Cantor here with you. Lee, talk about the phenomenon, I guess is the best word for it. Business Radio X Studio Partners essentially becoming the social mayor of their community. Yeah. I mean, I know we use the word social mayor a lot in our kind of language and what we describe one of the benefits of being affiliated with us are. But for people who don't understand, to me, the social mayor is that person who knows everybody. They're kind of that mega connector. They have a wide network that touches a lot of different industries. They're the ones you call. It's like, oh, do you know a lawyer? Or, hey, do you know somebody that fixes cars? Like, that person knows everybody in town. They know the good ones from the bad ones. And they're the person that people go to when they are looking for a resource. And one of the benefits of being affiliated with Business Radio X and being a studio operator in a local market, because all you're doing every day is interviewing business owners, you quickly build a network of just a wide variety of business owners in your community. So you can tell, okay, that person knows what they're talking about. Oh, that person, maybe not so much, or this person is great at what they do. So you become that mega connector pretty quickly. And Stone, I think that you um, probably uh, illustrate this better than anybody, at least lately, because you moved to Woodstock recently. You didn't have a lot of contacts there, not that I know of, but in a short period of time, didn't you become the kind of the social mayor there? Absolutely. You know, and I had been relating this benefit to people for years. You know, we've been at this a while. I think we're getting close to 20 years. And, but I had seen this happen for John Ray in North Fulton, for Mike Salmon in Gwinnett, for Karen Nowicki out in, in Phoenix. So I felt very comfortable relating this type of experience and that we had, we had seen this happen. But then Holly and I downsized after our youngest moved to Chattanooga, and we bought a little house right on the edge of downtown Woodstock. And when I got here and started kind of learning the landscape, I told Holly, I said, yeah, I'm going to keep going down to the headquarters studio down in Sandy Springs and keep doing the, you know, the Business Radio X corporate work as best I can. But I want to, I'm going to put a studio here in Woodstock. So I put one in a co-working space a mile down the road from my home And I did, you know, I tried to follow to the letter everything we've been teaching people to do. I reached out. I cast a wide net. I started inviting business people, large and small. Yes, I would invite professional service providers because I know that that fits my prospective client profile. But I invited the florist and the the mayor mayor (laughs) and the fire chief and just people. And that was that was what maybe almost three years ago. And I got to tell you, man, it does not take very long to get pretty well known as the person and the entity, the company, the brand that is genuinely invested in supporting and celebrating the good work that people are doing in this community. And it extends to, I mean, all the nonprofits in town. There's so many ways to, to help them. And I know them all. Now, look, I also know every bartender in town. I uh, I started a community partner program that was super easy to get off the get off the ground here in this community. You can ride a golf cart around. If I hop in my and I put slapped a Business Radio X logo on it, of course. And man, and when I hop in that Business Radio X golf cart, everybody knows that golf cart. But if I walk downtown or go in the buggy, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'll have 15, 20 people stop me at any given time. I've got people that will text me almost daily, you know, asking if I know somebody. I just, I really do know everyone in town. Everyone knows me and I have the the reputation of, you know, being a good guy that can help you get connected and help you solve whatever your problem is, whether it's directly, you know, what I provide or not. It's a it is a marvelous experience, and I guess to some degree, it's, it's emotional compensation, but it also hits the bottom line. When you have that kind of influence and impact and authority and credibility in a community, that translates to the, to the bottom line as well. It is the ultimate expression of helping people and making money. 
And I think the takeaway is the speed in which it occurs when you opened your studio. Can can you talk about the speed in which this occurred? Because, I mean, a lot of folks aspire to have that type of influence in a, in their community, but it's difficult to do it, you know, as a volunteer somewhere or, you know, the, the traditional ways that people try to do this. But using the Business Radio X platform, the speed in which you attain that level of authority and influence was pretty remarkable. Well, I think so. Speed to revenue was lightning quick because I started doing some virtual interviews even before we moved into this home once I knew I was going to do this. So I went ahead and got some traction by reaching out to some people and doing some virtual interviews. So by the time I hit town with a physical studio, I must have had two dozen interviews. People were referring other people, asking questions. Could they get on the show? That kind of thing. But then that that kind of social mayor title, if you will, I, I mean, it was well within the year. And I want to say in six months time, I was pretty, pretty well known around here. 